Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Today is a Saturday, so it's usually the day that I will be doing my celebration Saturday videos. However, it is also a Pootalas team video hop and the theme for the video hop is also celebration. So I've decided to merge both videos together and do a extra special celebration project for you with my favorite celebration stamp set. So thank you for joining me. Hello to all my usual and returning viewers. Lovely to see you again. And a big welcome to everybody who has hopped to me from one of my other Teamies videos. So just to explain to you about video hops, if you go to the description bar down below and you put the little arrow so you can see all the blurb that's in there, everybody who's taking part in the video hop today, celebrating celebration, you can hop on to their video and see what they have made. Okay, so as you probably know, if you've hopped here three or four times, <laughs> Celebration is a wonderful period of the year from the 4th of January to the 28th of February where you can earn free goodies. My favourite goodie in the catalogue is the Driving By Cling stamp set and this is the card that I've made with it today. So I've done some watercolouring and obviously some colour blocking because that's my favourite. Let me show you how to put this together. Okay, you're going to need your stays on ink pad and you'll also need your stamparatus. Okay, ideally, when you use your Stamparatus for this project, you're going to need our grid paper with it. So we sell a mini grid paper that fits directly in to the Stamparatus. You're going to need that for this project because you're going to be stamping just off your sheet of paper. So you will want to protect your Stamparatus, okay? So first up, you want two sheets of shimmery white cardstock. Okay, so it's got the gorgeous shimmer on it, but this is perfect for watercolouring. All right, you're gonna to want to put this in your Stamparatus. Now I've already got mine set up, but let me show you how you set it up if you haven't got it ready. Okay, I'm just making sure I've got no ink on my, uh, my stamp because I've already used this one. There we go didn't want to mess up my card before I got started. So you just pop your sheet of cardstock in and pop your magnets on. Okay. Now for the first one, I want my camper vans to be in the middle of the sheet. So I'm gonna pop that. I'm only eyeballing where the middle is, but that's where I see the middle being, okay? Now I've already measured this out, so I know that I want this hinge to miss two. I'll show you what I mean. The stamp is two hinges wide, okay? So if I start now back here, I have got one camper van. If I move it two hinges, I will have another camper van. And if I move it another two hinges, I will have another camper van there and it will just be going off the side of the paper on both sides. Okay, so let me show you. I'm just going to turn it sideways because I find it easier to use my Stamparatus with a leaf at the side rather than at the top because I don't have so much desk space back there. So I'm just going to pop my stamp case underneath there. It stays on ink. and I'm just gonna ink up my camper van. The Stamparatus is particularly important for this technique because it's gonna make sure that my stamp, uh, my stamper, my camper van is straight. You don't want them sort of running off on a line. And also what I'm gonna do for these ones on the middle panel is I am just going to double stamp it, okay? just to make sure it's done. And you can see it matches up perfectly. So the bumper, the back bumper of the one van will sit on the front bumper of the next van. 
really do like this set. Every part of these cars I think is amazing. The camper van, obviously, I love VW camper vans, I think they're amazing. And then the car with the balloons, that's going to come in so handy. And then at Christmas time, obviously, the car that's got a load of presents on will be great. And I know that seems weird because we've already just had Christmas, but I'm already thinking Christmas next year. Love Christmas. So there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to take that out my Stamparatus. Before I do, I'm just going to work out where I had it so that I can put this on the same line. I'm not so concerned. That was where I had it. I'm not so concerned about the, this way and this way. I'm more concerned about having it on the right line. Because then what I'm gonna do is I want my camper van now to be at both the bottom and the top of this card. So I'm gonna push this all the way up. Still keeping it on this line that we paid attention to. Pop my magnets at the top. And I'm gonna go along the bottom with my camper van. Three camper vans again on all three of the notches. Now with this one, I'm not as fussy so long as it's a good imprint, I don't need it twice. Oh, don't get too carried away that you do what I just did and almost put it in the right wrong place. <laughs> do keep counting your two hinges. Okay. Oh, see, that's what I mean. Sometimes... You don't get a clear imprint, so you can just use your Stamparatus to stamp it again and get a clear imprint. Okay, and then I'm going to keep it. Oh, I've got my magnets stuck together badly. Oh, <laughs> stuck to my other one. Oh, dear me. Right, okay. So you still want to keep it on this line. But now you want your camper vans to be towards the top. Okay. So I'm just going to ink and work back. it up, stamp it, ink it up and stamp it. Okay, so you now have two sheets that are inked and stamped like that. All right, now you could have had this one cut shorter ready for your actual front, but I have all of my shimmery white cardstock already cut to card base size. So for me, this just makes sense. But I'm gonna grab my trimmer and I'm gonna cut it down, okay? And what you want to do, this is the way I did it, is you want to feed it in and you want the bottom to be at one centimeter, okay? You can roughly see where the one centimetre mark is. And this way you can make sure that your vans are definitely, yeah, put the lid, the, sorry, the lid, <laughs> the top of the van, the roof of the van on the one. And you can see there. And then you know you are a centimetre, both top and bottom from your vans. And it's the perfect size. Okay. So you have a strip of vans and a whole sheet of vans. So I'm just going to grab some scrap wood paper and put it underneath because I'm going to be watercolouring and I like to keep my filming grid paper clean because 
I'm a bit OCD if you haven't been to my channel before. <laughs> right, and the colours I'm using for my colour block effect are Fresh Freesia, Pool Party and Polished Pink. And I think these three go really, really well together. So you want to have your spritzer. You want to have the big fat watercolour marker and you want to have a few different blocks okay and let me show you how you do this you want to take your first color which for me is fresh freesia and you want to grab your block and smush it really well into your ink pad so you get a load of ink to come up on the block you want a spritz of water onto the block to get the water going and then you want to use your aqua marker okay and just color in over your van it's really really simple this okay so you can see that's gone on quite light you can go around the edges and pick up more color and bring that through the more water you have, the more smoother it will go on. If you ever want any more water, by the way, you see this bit where it says push, the water will come out of the marker and you've got a load more water there to play with and you can just keep colouring that as much as you like, okay? Once that's finished, keep your chamois handy and wipe out your aqua marker onto your chamois. Okay, run some fresh water through it and that's your fresh freesia done you can come back at any time by the way and build these colors up that's the great thing about the shimmery white cardstock because it's a lot sort of it retains the color a lot better than our basic white which will rip if you do this okay so now i'm going to do the pool party and i'm just going to smush that into there again Add some spritz onto there. Make sure that my brush is nice and wet again. And off we go with this one. And we're just going to drag that through there. If you wanted to get some cool effects, you could just smoosh it like that. You don't have to be smooth on there. It's really up to you. Okay. And then finally, I'm just going to wipe my... Um, my brush out again we're going to come in with a polished pink now this one's really bright and for me it's like one of my most inked pads as well because i just love the color so i know this is going to go onto my block look at that loads of pink oh use my spritzer get some water on there there we go See what I mean? I told you this was going to go on well. I love this colour. It's beautiful. Now you can go up to and over the colour before. You can meet it or you can just fall short with it. It's really up to you. But you just basically want it to look really nice and colour blocked. Okay, put that to the side. Let it dry for a bit. If you're in a rush, you can run over it with your heat emboss. No problem with that. I'm just wiping my brush out so I'm ready to go again because now you want to come in with a different colour so we're going to be doing this sheet now and this sheet takes seconds to do so I did it with grey granite and I'm just having a little look around my room because I used it on another card straight afterwards there it is couldn't remember where I put it but it was under the other card so that was at least logical I'm using a slightly bigger block for this one because I want to use this more. Okay, so ink it up. Put a bit of water on there and off we go. Now I'm gonna just cover the entirety of this, okay? I want it to look really old, washed, worn,
So I'm going to go over it a couple of times. Just get it really wet. Keep running the colour over. The lovely thing about the shimmery cardstock is it shimmers beautiful when it's white. But when you add a colour wash over, trust me, it shimmers even more. It's beautiful. Really gorgeous. If you don't have our shimmery white cardstock, get it. And not just for watercolours. Honestly, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to... Do you find that some of these are like really tight? And other ones just so smooth. I think they're the colours I don't use that often. So I'm just going to pop this to the side so that they can start drying. Like I said, if you want them to dry quick, you can use your heat emboss tool. And for that, you just need to put the heat emboss tool on and run it over the paper and it will just start to dry it out. Okay. I'm not going to sit there and do that with mine because I think mine will dry while I'm getting the rest of my card done. So what you want is you want some pieces of basic black cardstock now. You want one piece that is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres so that it will form a really nice background piece there. OK, and on that piece, we're going to do some heat embossing because I don't believe in wasting card and I want this topper. But I'm going to be covering this card with my image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my embossing buddy towards the centre of the card. Grab my sentiment, which is driving by to say hi. And grab my Versa mark. Okay, I'm just going to stamp that into the cardstock. White stamp emboss powder. Onto there. And now I'm going to use my heat gun just to set that. Once that's done, you just want to grab one of your punches. It doesn't matter which shape punch you use. I use a tailored tag punch and you just want to punch that out. See what I mean? A great way of saving cardstock because that's going to go onto there and no one is ever going to see that we've stolen a bit out the middle. OK, card base, some liquid glue. So I'm just going to get this stuck onto my card first. The reason why I'm doing this is, let me tell you, and it's, it's quite amusing and I, I bet you've done the same. If you put the glue onto your picture and then stick it onto your card like you usually do but you've got a gap in your card you're going to end up sticking your picture to your table i want to say don't ask how i know but i think we all know how i know it's happened i know i've been dense stuck the top to the bottom and it's stuck to the table so once you've got that on you can then stick your card base on which should be dry now There we go. How beautiful is that? I love this camper van. I really, really do. Next up, what we're going to do is we need to get us a frame for our camper van. So I should know because I cut it, but I can't remember. It is 5.3 centimetres. So I'm just going to cut my next sheet down at 5.7. which means that I'm going to get a really nice size banner on there. Ignore that, I'll chop that off in a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that down. It's 
So did you hop here today or are you a returning friend? Let me know below and let me know where you started on the hop. Always interesting to see. And please do, if you've liked this video, subscribe and stick around. I'd love to see you more often. Okay, so then I'm just going to put that along the centre of the card. And this here is going to go on there like that. But I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals so that it sits up off the card and gives it some sort of 3D element. When I first started designing this card, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just knew I wanted to colour wash my camper van. So obviously I colour washed the, the three first. And then I was going to stick it just onto a plain background. And I was like... I feel it's missing something. I now put it onto this one. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. I also wasn't going to use it for the um, blog hop video. While I love the stamp set and it's my favourite stamp set, I was all like, oh, I'm probably going to do a bag or a box or something like that because I like doing those on blog hops. But once I did this, I just fell in love with it quite shocked at it but I fell in love with it and I was like you know what this is what I'm going to use so this is the classic matte dots and I'm just going to grab a few of these and put them along the bottom here like that and there you go that's the card. If you wanted more glitter, you could use some Wink Stella, but really the shimmery white cardstock has done all the glitter for me. I hope you like it. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Love to see you again. Please do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of the card and I will see you all soon. Everything I've used today is available from slimandstylish.stampingup.net and don't forget for every 45 pounds you spend, you can get a stamp set, one of which is this stunning drive-by stamp set. Thanks everybody, see you all soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I've used on this video are available to purchase from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.